Hey, g'day Grovers. We're here today to talk to you about your 2021 reading trek. So all the boys and girls in our school should have their copy of their reading trek for this year. And we're gonna teach you today about the best ways you can use it to get ready for being an awesome reader and also to be organized, ready for your studies. Uh, Glenn and Gwen up here on the back of our uh, reading trek and they're here to help you learn how to read, explore, discover and learn. And if you are a reader, then you are a learner. So let's have a look at what's inside our reading trek and how you can use it. Are you ready? So this is your reading trek for this year, 2021. In the front, you need to make sure you put your name um, and your class if you need to on the front so we can make sure a reading trek gets back to its correct owner. There's information for you to put your details here and there's also school information. So if you need to ring the school or email us, that information's all there for you. At the front, we talk about how reading is one of our learning priorities. And we also talk about magic words there. This document shows you our reading benchmarks for each year level and where we sit. So at the end of semester one, term one and term two, Students in prep should be reading between a level one and a level three using the PM benchmarking kit. And we move up in our benchmarks to different levels until year six, we use a program called Probe to, to see what level your stu student is reading at. Boys and girls in classes also set reading goals based on these benchmarks. That's how we see how we're going. This is something that our region gives us um, to, to talk about where we want children to be so they can be the best learners they are. These are the school reading strategies. So we have red strategies, which are for decoding and monitoring and yellow strategies that are for comprehension. So some of the strategies that are included in your book, in your reading track can help you read books and decode words. So for example, we have the stretchy snake strategy and that's the one where we stretch the words out to sound them out and then we put them back together so that we can um, make the unknown word known. So they're the decoding strategies and then comprehension strategies are the strategies that students use to make sense of their reading so that they understand the words that they're putting together and reading. We have owls in the front. So each night that you read, and that could be that mum and dad read to you if you're a prep or grade one student, or that you read each night, you can colour in one owl. So it doesn't matter how long you read for, if you're just doing a short five, 10 minutes read, or if you're a big grade five, six person that likes to read a whole chapter before they go to sleep, colour in one owl. And once you've coloured in all 50 of these owls, if you show it to your teacher or to Mrs. Lyon, you can get yourself a reading owl. So we have four different owls, which I showed you in the front. We have four different owls that you can earn as you move through the year. So if you read every night, by the end of the year, you will have earned your 200 owl, the golden owl. So here's what our reading badges look like. You can put these on your hat, you can wear them on your uniform shirt, or you can keep them at home somewhere really special. There's some information in the front of the book around um, how we look at her being a positive behaviour school, so if you want to refer to that. And then in prep year one and year two, students learn tricky words and teachers send home some information about learning tricky words. So this tells you the tricky words that they're learning, the high frequency words that they're learning, and then in prep, which sounds they're learning um, each term. So term one, term two, term three, and term four. But teachers can give you more information. Here's the first page of the reading track that we didn't put in. And you can put information in here about your birthday. You can put information about dates so you know when the term starts and finishes, and then you can plan for your holidays in there. Some information about how you can re use your reading track and we've got some boys and girls that are going to show you how to fill it out a little bit later but there's some information there for parents to use as well. Some information about how um, reading aloud every day is important and uh, especially in the lower years it's really important for children to be doing that 
how you can give your stickers um, to children and we've got stickers that students can earn each week and mums and dads you can put that on if they've done a great job of reading um, and they also have certificates as you go through the book as well that you can give them. So here's some of the things you could do um, to reward your child is how many pages they've read, maybe if they've done a really good job reading with punctuation stopping at a full stop you can give them some stickers um, either in their book or if they collect them somewhere else. So here's our reading trek pages that was uh, the first week of school that one's this week but we are going to start using our reading trek um, next week so on Monday and some boys and girls are going to show you how to fill this in um, and Mrs McDougall's going to explain it to you as we go through and what you can fill out and there's a special box here where you can send any notes to school or communicate with the um, teacher about the reading levels um, or uh, oh, I would say communication um, that's important to send on class dojo or to email a teacher but just something little that we can we can look at if you like so here's what a home reading book might look like that comes home this book is a level six so most of our books should have a level up there and it should be the level that is fairly easy for children to read at home. If it's too, too tricky, then we need to send home something that's easier because this is for practice, not for instruction. At school, we use instructional levels and they're the levels that are just a little bit harder so that we can teach them and to use those strategies I showed you and uh, we have opportunities for them to be practiced. At home, we want it to be something that's fairly easy for them to read with not too many words that need to be um, decoded carefully. So if you're finding that they're too tricky, um, please let us know and we can look at sending home something that's a little bit easier. We don't want it to be super easy, but we don't want it to be really hard either. Um, there won't be lots of words necessarily in books and at the beginning of each week they should bring home a collection of four, maybe five books, um, it depends, but it is okay for you to read a book more than once and particularly if it was a book that they really enjoyed and they loved to read again or if it was a book that they spent a little bit of time decoding words, so sounding them out, grrrr and you needed some help. It's okay once you've figured it out to read it again because that's what good practice is. Um, it's really important that you help children look at the picture if they're reading picture books so that they can make some of those connections. So in your little reading folder at the beginning of each week you should have three to five books for children to read and the students and Mrs McDougall are gonna show you how to fill in the book and how we change readers um, and select readers at school. So, have a great time with your reading trek. Thanks. On Fridays, students in the junior years return their reading trek books and their home readers to be changed. Mrs Lyon changes home readers and they are returned to students on Mondays. Students in the senior years will select a just right book from the library on Mondays. They will use this book as their reader for the whole week. Students also have access to the State School Digital Library through the Sora app. They need to simply visit soraapp.com and enter their school user ID to have access to thousands of digital books. This online digital library is available for students in years two to six. After each reading session, students will record that reading session in their track book. They need to write the book title, any comments they have about the book, how many pages they read and how many minutes they read for. Students can also use their reading track book to record after school activities and any homework that they need to complete each day. 
Don't forget to colour in your reading hours to start earning our badges. The Trek Book is also a great organisational tool where important dates and events can be recorded and where parents can communicate with the classroom teacher.